So you want to learn how to install Quick 1.5 with the sound music and a cool icon, do you? Well, you've came to the right place. What's up, everybody? Today, I'm going to show you how to install Quake 1.5. Again, this is Smango from QuakeFans.net. You can follow me on Twitter at the Smango. Check out QuakeFans.net. And if you want to see me play live action games, live games, I mean, go to twitch.tv forward slash the Smango. Anyways, let's get into it. So, first, we need to download. Uh. The game, right? We we, we need we, we got Quake install. We need to download the mod. The mod DB Quake 1.5. We'll take a shot to it. Okay, we're here. You click on files. See, I'm gonna do the single player beta one because there's like you don't have to have these. These are heart fixes. But so let's do Quake 1.5 single player beta one. Click download now. Download the beta. Now I highly recommend you download 7-Zip. This is 7-Zip Manager. It'll help you. It's going to help you a lot when it comes to modding. It's going to help you a lot with Quake mods. It's going to help you with everything, especially if you want me to show you something in the future uh, on a future video, how to get Quake completely free. So stick around, hit that subscribe button. I'll show you how to get Quake completely free so you can do this without getting the GOG version or anything. Stick around. I'll, I'll help you out. Anyways, this is if you got the GOG version, but it doesn't matter what, what you have, honestly. So let's download it. <clears throat> All right. So I got the Quake 1.5. So I'll open it in 7-zip. All right. So we've opened the Quake 1.5 mod zip file it's a dot seven zip file i highly recommend like again get seven zip it's free if you need help installing it join the discord i'll help you install seven zip it's easy it's free though anyway extract we're going to extract it to a new folder in my game directory. games Let's see quick quick look at how many quakes i got quick 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 quick, quick. all right so quake make a new folder quake one five Hit OK. All right, that's not where it's supposed to go. It's supposed to be games, game folder, games. Okay, new folder. Wake one five. All right, that's where I want it to go. It's gonna extract it. <clears throat> now the GOG version doesn't come with music either. I'll try to help you do that as well. Pay attention. I'm going to go to the folder. I'm going to go to my game drive. I accidentally created this folder. I don't want that folder. I'm going to delete it. Whatever. I'm going to go to my one I did, games. Uh, I'm going to go to my hard drive, which I got labeled game volume. Games. Folder. Then I'm going to go to my quick one five. I'm going to see everything in there. So. There's that. This is all you need. What, what, what the readme doesn't tell you is that you need to get the recommended build out. It doesn't tell you this. So just copy, control, and put this in the 1.5 right here. Just, but let's do that in a second. First, we need to make a copy of all our Quake. So this is the GOG version of Quake. See this? This comes from GOG. I own a million copies of Quake. It's just alt control we're gonna copy this this is a you don't want to you don't want to put it into your quake directory because if you make other mods sometimes they conflict with each other so i was like a clean copy of quake i'm gonna put that in my 1.5 folder quake 15 copy and paste it okay we're copying quake copying quake copying quake right, quake is copied now this is the secret right here you need a dark places engine in the same folder. So just copy and paste it. Yes, you want to replace. Delete. And now delete this recommended build. <clears throat> I 
<clears throat> so guys you got that you delete the folder afterwards you don't need it anymore you got you got dark places this is the recommended thing for this mod so uh i will not be showing you how to do quick spasm i'm sorry quick spasm guys but let's we'll stick to dark places so what you want to do is you want to find the run dot bat should be run quick 1.5 dot bat we're going to try to run it right now see if it works Eureka, look at there, baby. Like 1.5, ready to go. Ready to go. Okay. Test it out. Working like a dream. There you have it, guys. You have installed Quick 1.5. You have to hit yes to exit. You have to hit yes to exit. So, Quick 1.5 is installed. Hope that guy's helped you, but if you want to stick around, there's more stuff you can do. Cool stuff. Check this out. I'll show you a little extra step. So you don't have to go through the folder directory and stuff like that. Check this. Send send a desktop. Send the run quick 1.5.bat. Let me go ahead and show you what's in the one quick 1.5.bat. So it, it's looking for dark places. If you don't want to extract it or you want to use a different dark places, just put the path to the dark places you want to use right here if that makes sense so quick then it's got game quick 15. that's what that's all it's done nothing crazy nothing that's going to hurt your computer let's send to desktop now all right we got the quake 1.5 shortcut that looks terrible right it doesn't look like a game it looks stupid do quake 1.5 all right, we named it that. Now what you want to do is you want to get a quick icon. Choose, choose one. They're, they're all kind of cool. I, I like this one. So let's go at softicons.com. Make sure you got a dot ico. You, you got to download the dot ico file. This we're going to save it. I'm going to cut this and put it in the same directory as games. Quake 15. I'm going to paste it in here so I know where it's at. All right. So there's that step. Now, if you want to change the icon, check this out. Properties. Change icon. Blah, blah, blah. It's going to come up with it. They don't did blah, 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 blah. Don't pay attention to that. Go back to your game directory where you installed the ICO file. So mine's games. Mine's the game volume. Games folder. Quake 15. Then I'm going to find the ICO. Quake 1 ICO. Check it out. All right. We'll hit apply. And look how cool Quake 1.5 looks up there. You can just click and run it from there. It's that easy, guys. It's that easy. There you have it. You got your cool ICO now. You got Quake 1.5 running. What else do you need in life? Okay, guys, I'm going to try to show you how to install the original campaign soundtrack. And you can get the soundtrack from quidictive.com forward slash file forward slash music forward slash quick underscore campaign underscore soundtrack dot zip. So we're going to zip these files. So these, this folder right here needs to be in the Quake 15 folder. Let me show, show you what I mean. So, we're going to see if this works. The so game volume where I installed it. Games folder where I installed it. Quake 15. And so it has to be the Quake 15 um, mod. It has to be installed in here. This is what I was told for uh, mods. So let's see if it worked. Anyway, we have them now. Anyway, we'll just make sure they're there. Quake 15. I'm just going to run the dot bat real quick. Just to see if this works, but it should work. I should have music now. What do you know? I have music. So 
there you guys go. A full installation of Quake 1.5 using the GOG version. Really, this works with any version of Quake. All you need is the data files. Like, it doesn't matter if you're ripping them off the CD. It doesn't matter. Uh, if you guys stick around, hit like, share, and subscribe. I'll make a video on how to get Quake for free. Starting a day, like it, it costs nothing. You just gotta know where to find it. I know where to find it. I'll help you out. Hit like, share, and subscribe. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. See you guys next time.